Hello, Recreation 7 and welcome back to Rule the Waves 3 as we continue with our Spain playthrough. And we are, of course, at war with Italy, with our noses uh, ever so slightly in front in terms of the VP score. Last couple of episodes we did have a fairly huge fleet battle, which ultimately went in our favour, uh, but not as well as it could have done. We did bag ourselves a heavy cruiser, but we were... So close to grabbing one, if not multiple, battleships, and unfortunately ended with zero. So uh, still somewhat up against it. If we look at Almanac here, you can see the Italian fleet tonnage still sitting kind of about uh, just over 5% greater than ours. Uh, so it's something we're going to have to continue to work on uh, and try and chip away at their lead. Uh, yeah, um, so really we're just looking for probably smaller engagements where we can try and pick off a ship or two and just kind of edge down um, as we try and uh, try and kind of address that balance. Obviously racking up as many VPs as we can in the meantime. Just a recap in terms of our ships. Obviously we have a fleet of light cruisers currently being constructed. They're just under a year away and a bunch of corvettes in a similar kind of time frame. Um, we are going to hopefully kind of release a number of destroyers we currently have on trade protection because although we did win the last battle um and certainly in terms of ton tonnage lost we came out ahead but we did lose about eight destroyers i think and that's we're going to start leaving a hole because i think we're going to need to rely on our destroyers to get some uh, some work done for us we would also like to embiggen our battle line uh, so we do have the lovely madrid class battleships pocket battleships if you will really uh fairly small fairly uh, light gun to live 11 inches and we'd like to build some kind of 14 inch gunned behemoths um potentially either battleships or battle cruisers and there's a reason for that we might get to but we are a ways away for that in fact i might as well mention that it was a, a good suggestion saying well hey why don't you build a a 16,000 ton battle cruiser with maybe six 14 inch guns uh and I think it's all going to be over 20 knots, uh, so you could use those for your CVL conversions when the time comes, which is not a bad idea and something we may look at. But that's probably going to be a year away, uh, and given the way battles go, we might be unlikely to get a year's worth of time in a single episode. So let's carry forth and carry on and see what we get. A convoy attack. Hmm. Well, we are going to accept it because I don't want to give up 585 victory points, but I'm a little bit dubious about it. It's uh, firmly in Italian waters. We're a long way from home, so we'll have to see what forces we are given. Now, a number of theirs should be... Oh, that doesn't help. Uh, should be in the dry dock after taking damage. It's also nighttime. Oh, this is interesting and potentially not great. So we've got... Two of our newest ships, three of our older ones, and then three destroyers. Oh no, one heavy cruiser and two destroyers. Oh no, no, there's a few more. Okay. One, two, three, four destroyers. Maybe there's an easier way of doing this. We just like order a battle. Yeah, so we have. <sighs> I'm sorry. The Mallorca and the destroyer are in a single division. I mean, that's just a bit crazy. Now, the one advantage we may have here, so we torpedoed, if I remember correctly, I think all three of Italy's new battleships, I think. And if that is the case, they'll be in dry dock repairing. He says, hopefully, repairs happen in this game far too quickly, in my opinion. I think I've talked about it before, but, you know, if you look at how long it takes to repair, how many months it takes to repair ships in real life, and then you'll blow a couple of torpedo holes inside of a battleship, and then a month later, she'll be back out sea. But anyway, that's that's aside the point. Um, they are they should at least be laid up for this combat, which may give us the edge if it's all their older pre dreadnoughts, and maybe we could pick a few of those off. We shall see. I'm expecting about numbered here. Usually the attackers aren't numbered in a combat defence, especially if you are outnumbered in the sea zone. We'll have to wait and see how things go. So uh, we can't control the ships just yet. It is looks like to be in the middle of the night. How long till dawn? Just four minutes till dawn. Now, if we can get nice and close in, we might look to just sink the convoys and then make a run for it. Um, it depends what force we're up against. Right, enough preamble. That is it. That is some of the wonkiest divisions I have seen. I'm not gonna lie. Slightly odd that we haven't got control, nor have we bumped into anything. 
But we now have control, which I suppose is something. Do we see a ship? We do see a ship. We see a ship. Okay. And I have my two newer bits and bobs going this way. Um, now this, I appreciate it. I think it's a double double destroyer one. Yeah. Who are you screening against? No, you come along, protect them, please. As just support, I think. And you are entirely on your own. I'm going to get you to... Yeah, okay, you can stick with these ones. I uh, have to be careful what I'm doing with these ships being old and a bit vulnerable. I have a bit more room to manoeuvre. Let's bring you up to, say, I don't know, 15 knots. We'll keep a couple, a couple of knots in the back pocket. Um, and you, who is our newer, faster ship again. We'll just trundle on a little bit so we can see what we are dealing with. That's not really what I was expecting. Is this the actual... Have we stumbled across the convoy already? Oh my. Well, good news everyone. We should be able to get our allocated number of kills. I'm going to get one to hold fire on the torpedoes because we may need those for... Some of the bigger ships, that was the torpedo and not just the general hold fire, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, you guys can probably launch it. You shouldn't be really getting close to people to actually need them. Okay. Actually, some ships along here. Let's open up our broadside to whatever those are. Um, and I do want me okay. I'm going to pick up your speed now. Your battle speed. Uh, yeah, these guys, I'm not sure they're going to do much, to be honest. I'll keep trundling them in this direction just in case we need some support. And let's pick your speed up to the battle speed as well. Um, I mean, if they are fighting, they're, all, they're older ships as well. We might have the turn of pace required to actually keep up with them. So we'll head you down south. Well, this is, this is quite advantageous in terms of being able to get stuck in and get, you know, secure the objective, if not the... Victories. Okay, so we've got two of their older pre dreadnoughts. Which, you know, probably nothing to sniff at. 15,000 knots, so same displacement. 12 inch guns, although, so actually heavier armored than our battleships. 9 inch belt. Whereas we are. Actually, we have less belt, smaller guns, a bit more of them. Same tonnage. So, not a pushover as well, Leonardo. This. this this one, we have for days. Again, slightly heavier guns, but, you know, but I think they're, they're going to be quality minus two. Uh, in fact, so is Leonardo da Vinci. So our, the quality of our guns is going to be much better. That's something I maybe didn't consider enough when I was thinking about it. So we probably pack a better, a bigger punch, even though we have a smaller calibre. Now, we're not hitting much, though, and that's something I didn't mention last time, is our previous performance was pretty poor in battle, uh, and that's just due to... Um, gr not green crew, but a lot of ships coming from reserve status, you know, just before the war. So the crews are going to be pretty poor quality. It'll take them a few fights to really upskill. We may not get that many hits here now. I do have to be careful. I don't want to go too close to AMC, I don't think. And the light cruiser, if it's threatening. You guys come over here. The heavy cruiser, I just want to swing down the edge of this uh, convoy and harass it. And at some point, I'm probably going to unleash DDT2 and the Alcedo upon these older battleships. Oh, first blood to the Italians. Watch these destroyers. Now, you are kind of heading towards me. Are we going to go first blood straight away? Not first blood. Torpedo charge straight away? Well, by Jiminy Josh, I think we are. If that's how they want to play, they are welcome to play it. Get good hit from the Malaga, getting the rise in. And just remind ourselves which captains we have on station here. Uh, we have Affermon the second and Cerveza. Okay. That's all going well. That armor oh, is pretty much dead. In here, what we got? Destroy, 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 destroy. Okay, fine. A light cruiser. I'm not scared of any of that. We seem to have them for tonnage in this fight for whatever reason. Not a gift horse I'm looking to, to uh, check in the mouth. Another good hit on the Silica. Or Sicilia. I'm never saying that right. Two more hits. Oh, no, this is a good work from our, our ships here. 
Mm, they have split, so let's... Oh, come on. <sighs> Possibly from you. Yeah, you maybe are just... Although, I'm surprised given you're not that far in front of me and it's quite a distance. Oh, that's rough. Who? Okay. We are going to detach you. Oh, if we lose the Malga here. Be off your control. Bring you down to 10 knots is absolutely fine. In fact, let's bring you down to say 8 and pull you northwards. And there are no ports anywhere nearby. So we are going to probably have to look to try and end this as quickly as we can to the 500 because I do not want to lose this ship. Oh, time run away from over there. Well, this is somewhat not where we want to be, but sure, let's use it. We're going to go after Leonardo here. You are in a fine position, I think. Head you down this way. Get you in behind, okay. T2's already sinking. Oh, come on. Come on, Alcedo. Yeah, you launched, but they moved just as you tried to turn, and there goes Alcedo. Well, that was disappointing. I have a lot more oomph coming. You have to watch about these guys doing a mad torpedo run. Like, potentially, they're just doing. So let's preempt that. Sail away and back north again. You need to watch out, make sure you're, going, you're not going too close to destroyers and things. Let's pull this way back round. Uh, that's going very well, hitting destroyers, yeah. All right, so hitting transports, I should say. We've got our kind of battle line coming in, although the real familiar's got a rudder damage. Alejandro's getting hit there, Leonardo's getting hit. Oh, it's good, that's them. We take a turret hit on our Alejandro. They seem to be pretty good with their own gunnery here. Another hit on Leonardo da Vinci just with our smaller calibre guns. Uh, yeah, we are behind, so we have to watch out for torpedoes from, the, from them both, really. Okay, let's do a check, check on the Malaga here. Flooding's down to zero. Perfect. Okay. She has completely stopped the flooding. Plenty of flotation damage. She is not going to sink. So I'm, I'm going to just keep her at slow pace, extreme range. You know, if she helps with a shell or two, great. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, some good hits from the market. Two eleven inch shells on the Leonardo da Vinci there. Nice. Um, and I'll, uh, some hits from the Intrepido on the uh, Sicilia. Now, I wouldn't mind closing the gap a little bit here, and then we can do a little bit of a usual destroyer action with the Galliano. Uh, you are in a terrible position with that light cruiser, so let's uh, actually just cut in this way. Now, how many do I have to sink? Six. Okay. Which I think should be fine. Okay, hitting. Oh, the Mallorca got hit by the light cruiser, but that's fine. Okay, she looks like she's slowing down. Yeah, great hits there. And Torpedo and the Alejandro both hit with their two, two barrels of her 12 inch guns. Uh, so I think she's probably. Getting close to where we could maybe try and think about finishing her off. Time's not so much of a, a concern given... Given... Um, what am I going to say? 
But flooding is now zero on the Malaga, so I'm not concerned about losing her. You sort yourself out yet? Still got rudder damage. I guess so. Still going in circles. Just a quick check. Light cruiser there, destroyer there, no problem. Just have to pay attention. Are you dead in the water? I wonder how you run due south. Okay, more hits go landing on Leonardo. I'm going to have Malaga, I think, bring you up to say 10 knots, which I think should be acceptable, and meander you over in this direction. Now here is a risk if she's not dead. So let's do a little bit of meandering of her own. Yeah, she's still moving. Let's see if I destroy here. Can't be convinced to put her out of misery. Oh. Guess he got his turret blown up. Yeah. Okay, so a good hit there and a bit of damage, but still watertight. And it looks, I think that's in the Intrepido has fired a, a torpedo off her own volition. It, no, it's Alejandro fired, which may be all that's required. Well, you need to start heading north again. Yep, yeah, there you go. Torpedo it, dead in the water, she's going down. Perfect. Let's see if we can't pick off Leonardo as well. That'll be a pretty stellar outcome. And you will go and chase the victory. Good. Right. Let's manually set your target. You don't waste ammo on the dying pre-dreadnought. You to briefly hold your torpedoes and then come south. Beautiful. Oh, hello. That's a pretty bold position you're taking. Uh, I assume you don't have forward facing torpedo tubes, although you may do. Usually it's just aft facing. You to cut in behind. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to be a torpedo hit there. Need to run north, please, Mallorca. Which adventurous captain is taking you for a cruise? Proto. Keep up the good work. Hunting those uh, poor merchant cruisers. Uh, merchant cruisers. Merchant vessel. Merchant men, I think, would be a more appropriate way of saying it. Give you a little bit back. Yeah, you're going to come in, see if you can't be convinced to unleash a torpedo or two. That'd be delightful, Leonardo. He's taken a reasonable number of shell hits, so. Probably has suffering some damage. On you go. I mean, it looks good. Release. And release. Release. <sighs> ah, torpedoes and not captain's mode. Don't you love them? Yeah, have you recovered? You look like you've covered. You just go north. I don't think we need you down over here. Which is a bold supposition. One I'm pretty comfortable with. Okay, this thing has taken heavy damage. Two more lovely hits there from uh, the Mercia. Our 11 inches starting to land. Crew getting used to the guns. Starting to get the feel for it. Oh, hello. 
that really another battleship? Not sure. We do still have torpedoes on these two, which we could unleash to devastating effect if we chose to. I don't think we're quite in that position yet. Oh, you're starting to get pretty badly beat up. Yeah, your rudder seems to have gone a little bit. She's struggling. She may go down. Stop firing at this dying ship, please. You have bigger fish to fry. Who just launched that torpedo? Well, it got the job done, I suppose. Right, quick check on our heavy cruiser. Oh, you're also slightly worryingly close. Make sure that light cruiser doesn't come pay you too much of a visit. Well, you guys can sneak in a, a scooch. Do you know what? I am going to say torpedo away if you want. She's just being battered by gunfire. Oh, look at that. A couple of 12-inch hits, 6-inch hits, 11-inch hits. And there's another salvo, another big number of hits there. Oh, hang on. She's now being shot at by you. Again, let's make sure we're not taking any torpedoes there. Oh, look at that. Eight more hits on the Leonardo. Leave a little game with the light cruiser there. Okay, I'm going to make sure you pull away because I don't want you to take a torpedo. Hey, objective achieved, and once Leonardo goes down, I'm going to say that is job done. Would quite like to have taken that light cruiser down with us, but it's not the end of the world, perfectly honest. Two pre-dreadnoughts is a beautiful score. We'll get a bunch of uh, victory points for that, and goes a long way to help sort the tonnage requirements. Excellent, right. We're not dead, we'll just point you guys uh, northward again. And I think we'll just regroup our forces over in this general direction. The destroyers, you just got to keep an eye on. They seem to be leaving us alone. Okay, good. I'm happy to withdraw now. I'm going to call that a good day's hunting. Got a few war wounds, a torpedo hole needing patched up, and undoubtedly some shell hits. But all in all, pretty good day at the office. Uh, let's get. You'll have to slow down. If you can't catch up there. you don't cruise as well. Good day. Now just run out of clock. Okay, excellent. I'll do that. Sterling victory. There you go. Two pre dreadnoughts dead and well, one destroyer for loss of two destroyers. Which is fine, but again, with finite resources only concern there. We did sink 13 transports in the end. Pretty happy with that. So this was with Leonardo, who did, wow, receive like 100 and, what's it, 130 hits there. That's pretty impressive. 
and then Lepanto, uh, much less hits on that torpedo in the end that finally took her down. How did we do? Uh, so in terms of Mag Malaga, okay, only still only a one point three percent hit percentage. Ah, there you go, Mercia, four point eight five, much better showing there. That's good. Good numbers, those. Okay, perfect. I will take those 4,000 prestige. Thank you very much. And we sunk an enemy submarine to boot. Uh, more enemy submarines, some raiders in the Medan in Northern Europe. Okay. We lost a few merchants, but not really enough to have a massive impact, I don't think. Perfect. Oh, I'm going to watch that. So how's that brought down to our... Yeah, still kind of taking those rounding errors and it's definitively 50%. Okay, beautiful. Onwards and upwards. A fleet battle. This is um pretty terrifying. Because all my new ships are in the dock. Granted, well, no, one of the, I say all but one, one of our new ships, but three of their battle cruisers, which we know are pretty good. Right, so if we take this on, we might just be running away. I don't want to give up with 1200 VP, so we're going to try and do a, a bit of a fighting withdrawal here. Ooh, eight destroyers, that's a, that's a, bit, of a bit of a blow. Okay, so we've got a couple of heavy cruisers and a bunch of pre dreadnoughts, and we are going to yeah run away. I think. What? Destroy a bombardment tower? Well, that's not fleet battle, then, is it? That is a coastal assault. Okay, we'll have to see how this goes. Let's get you chaps uh, up to your max minus two. In fact, we'll go not quite that. Far. Hard just yet, bring up to say 17 as we try and sound out these Italians. Are oh, you the Neptuno? Yeah. Oh, it feels like a lot of Italians. Right. Yeah, pre dreadnoughts, pre dreadnought, so a whole bunch and the Italia is here as well. Ooh. And some BCs, blue so yeah, this is indeed okay. So it was indeed a fleet battle, just And I've got a bunch of old ships and very few destroyers. This is pretty horrible to be perfectly honest. What's the night looking for us? Four hours. Right, you guys turn around. I think we're just going to run that way. We're going to go squad max and try and lead them probably due south. Uh, yeah, and you guys are going to run that way. Now, we should be able to outrun the older slower ships. You are very close. I'm so sorry, Malia. But I need you to... Save the fleet. Get him to turn. Oh, okay, that was good. That was good. I'm run away. Don't launch torpedo the destroyers. <laughs> Maybe she's thinking, well, if I don't want torpedoes, he won't send me back in. Right, I'll have you run due south as well, just so you're within touching distance. This is not a fight I want, though. Now, we could potentially try and send Menorca in under cover of darkness to get the objective, and that's. That's something I may well try. Everyone else runs for it. Hello, you. Okay, we're still in visible range. That's fine. I'm going to keep running. Oh, let's put you back onto AI control. So don't have to worry about it. Q. 
you're going to run straight for the coast. These guys are all going south. Three hours, ten minutes. I think we're going to be okay in terms of darkness. Covering our fleet, and then hopefully we can get in and destroy this target without this heavy cruiser being swamped by these heavier ships. Well, I say that. Yes, those lovely battle cruisers are coming for me. And probably we'll get some shots in in the next two and a half hours. Let's keep you guys out of visual distance from the enemy fleet. You guys are going to keep running for your lives. And, do you know what, I hadn't thought about it, but yeah, you're probably going to have to do some more defensive work. Uh, well, please don't just get yourself killed. Well, since you're here already, why can't I take up the eye control? Huh. That's an odd one. I've lost control of you. Okay. That's going to be somewhat disappointing. But you got them to turn though, so to be honest, that's kind of job done. And you're still pulling them south. It's going surprisingly well. That's just a patrol boat. Not a problem, but in fact it's going to provide a scouting report. Mark is going to get a job done and then probably run north. Oh, squad minus two, so you get your accuracy in. Okay, my time is not your friend here, Menorca. Well, it isn't, isn't it? Okay, everything else seems fine over there. Going down to cruise. Landing our hits. Oh, come on, hurry up and die, please. There we go. Beautiful. Two north, squad max. You won't, might not, you might struggle to make top speed just given the, the effort you've put in already. Frankly, I don't care if you're exhausted, gentlemen. Means must all, oh, but here comes darkness just to cover your retreat. What are you? Probably a coastal base. Okay, head slightly out to sea. Into the dusk. Cool. Okay, and provided you don't bump into anything, that was spectacularly successful. Okay, you guys are heading to random bays and stuff, but that's fine. So we didn't sink any ships from Italians, but that's okay. We didn't really have the force to do it. We didn't even lose a destroyer. And we got the uh, objective, Victory Spain. Love it. Absolutely love it. Apparently we even damaged that battleship. And heavily damaged destroyer. Surprising, but okay. What? Uh, oh, I meant to look at ship's details there. Okay, I was interested to see how we were the damage. 900 victory points. Beautiful. Okay, we'll lose 40, but who okay. cares? Uh, okay, we are not going to pick a fight with the US right now. We'll handle it discreetly. Uh, so our ships have thwarted some raiders, which is good, but we still lose four merchants in the Mediterranean. Okay. Come on, man. No, don't, don't you dare. Oh. So previous games, it would turn to zero. It's not done that, but it has taken a chunk out of mine. Ah, oh, but... I did say hush up discreetly, didn't I? Come on, America, why'd you got to be like this? All right, well, we're going to have to pursue peace, I think, when the option comes. 
the Yanks decide to turn up in Northern Europe with their main fleet, we're going to be in trouble. Apart from that, she'll be okay. We'll lose some victory points every turn for um, you know, dominating seas around wherever, but it's fine. I don't think we can invade it. Uh, okay, a slight pain, but c'est la vie. Oh, I need more ships on trade protection. I don't really have them. I'm still six months away, which may mean giving up uh, some of my destroyers to do trade protection. Not ideal. Go by attack. At least we have some of our new ships back. Right, let's give it a whirl. I wish we'd fight actually close to Spain, you know. Okay, straight into the unknown ship side. We've got just got a Neptuno. All right, that should be a nice short one. We'll see what we're up against. Let's go. Let's go max minus two. Get our fighting speed up. It's probably going to be. Well, I was going to say it's going to be a heavy cruiser. It's not. It's a destroyer. 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 All right. Oh no, it's a light cruiser. Giovanni Balson. Let's look at you. You are twelve five-inch guns. Okay, with one inch of belt. Fast though, 29 knots. We are six six inch guns. Eight four inch guns. So I mean so they've got what? Six inch broadside. Six five inch broadside, we've got three sixes and four fours. We probably we're probably heavier in terms of weight of fire. We have much better belt. Much slower though. But luckily for us, we are they are defending a Set objective, if we can find them. Oh, hello. Uh, which means we get free reign, or they can't just use their speed. Well, they can. They can run away if they want. But it means we'll just sink all the ships. And I'm kind of quite happy to just start by brawling the, or mauling the convoys. And then we'll worry about the Giovanni. Double check who our captain here is. Oh, just Hernandez. You're not a known man. Another good six inch hit on the Giovanni. What weight? Displaying you 5,600. You're not that heavy. It will not take many six inch hits for you to start having a bad day. So watch out for the old torpedoes. More four inch hits. Uh, six inch hit. Watch out for the destroyers and their torpedoes. Another four inch hit on the Giovanni. You know, this is actually going surprisingly well. The Churucha hitting with their four inch guns. Some dubious launches of torpedoes here. Whoa, we could have hit ourselves there if we weren't careful. Oh, great, great broadside from Neptune. There are three, in fact, that's all three of our broadside guns hitting the Giovanni there. That's going to be upsetting it. No end. Another six inch hit. Another two. Well, oh, she's really found her range. Another one. Beautiful stuff here. Let's just keep sailing like this for just now. Watch out for the torpedoes, though. Surprised she hasn't lost more speed, but then she was starting with quite a high um, max speed. So even losing a few knots here and there is not going to be terminal. Right, that looks like a torpedo charge. And she does have the opportunity that if she wants to, she could probably just turn and run. But for whatever reason, she's not deciding that's a sensible thing to do for just now. Medium damage, okay. MC's merchants. I don't want to lose sight of these people in our little duel here. Another good six inch hit. Oh, hello. You are not under my control. Interesting. These are just supporting forces that happen to be in my area. 
Which firmly put the weight of things in our favour, and they should go and smash some to some to transports. They do not. Okay, that's fine. Get yourself hit by a torpedo. We have to screen for our heavier ships here. Man, this thing's taking a lot of uh, a lot of things. Six inch shells. Okay. Running out of ammo, oddly enough. Another four, couple more four inch hits on you. Still only reporting light damage. I'm kind of disappointed all our hits haven't amounted to more. Right, I'm going to leave this light cruiser for just now. I, I want to go get our transports. But we have our heavy cruisers are starting to get involved as well. I just want to make sure we get the objective. Those are actually heavy cruisers? No. So let's leave those fighting each other and we're going to go pick up six transports, confirm the objective, and then we can come back. Although I think she's running for home now. So we are going to get the kill there, which is a shame. Especially the number of shot hits we landed. Good destroyer charge there, making me spin away, but they didn't stick. Okay, I think that's going to be six by the time these all finally go under. Yeah, they've just put off north. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's objective. Question's a little bit of kind of, now what? Mm, night has fallen. The answer's probably not very much. I think we're going to have to just take that and go home. Let's see, it was a good day. It could have been better, but it is what it is. I'd love I'm gonna have to see how much damage that Italian ship suffered. I feel like we hurt her loads. Okay. We are gonna win this, hands down. Yep. We car, we got her! Yes. I mean it's only a light cruiser. This is not that important in the grand scheme of things. But clearly it was the objective we were going for. So she'll have sunk through progressive flooding. Uh, she was hit about 50 times. We, you know, it's a lot of hits for a small ship. So these are going to be, so that's 29 essentially 6 inch hits. You know, 5,500 tons. She did a lot of punishment. Fair play to her. Uh, when did the flooding, uh, flooding, okay, gets hit, limits flooding, gets hit, limits flooding. A uh, bit of fire, and then just kind of sinks. Uh, engine room from oh, actually our heavy cruisers came in at the end. <laughs> Maybe and there's some ten inch armor piercing round. Okay, penetrating high explosive. Okay, they might they they might have something to do with it. Fair play, fair play. Well, that's good. That'll help restore a bit more victory points in our favor. A couple of thousand. Okay, this is good. That's a bit much calling it a major engagement. All right. Okay. Well, it's a start. It's a start. Um, the, the war is going okay. I think we're going to have to be fairly cautious about how long we run this for. It's all going to depend on America. They just stay at home. Not really a problem. If they decide to hang out in the Med or yeah, that's really it, or, or Northern Europe, then we're going to have issues. But apart from that, it's going relatively well. So uh, as ever, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio.